rocky start in set number two. The Lady Spikers recovered just in time to steal away the set from the Lady Eagles, and that is why they are just one set away from winning the battle of the rivals. Thank you for joining us on SNA as we take a look at the statistics from set number two. Spikers with 15. Blocking was there for the Lady Spikers, and that was what, what we mentioned you know, with the Lady Eagles. They were missing that in the second set. In terms of unforced errors, I guess it didn't help, Anton, that uh, both teams actually had eight, and the fact that um, the Lady Spikers produced more points in that set uh, just goes, goes to show why they actually uh, recovered and you know eventually won it. Jam-packed crowd here at the Mall of Asia Arena in Pasay City. An electric atmosphere as we see players from different championship squads, their respective schools join forces for this one-day event, the Battle of the Rivals. Ella De Jesus, she has been playing well for the Lady Eagles here in this match. De Jesus now with five points. It would be interesting how Morado will try to shuffle and really make use of uh, all her attackers because looking at the leading scorers after two sets, Anton Valdez now has 13 points, this was with five. Morado actually part of the top three with four points in this match. But if we look at how Lasal or uh, the Lady Spikers rather is scoring in this match, we have Maraño and Galang both with eight, Mercado with seven. It seems that it's evenly distributed than uh, what we're seeing from the Lady Eagles. Gohing, Fajardo to Mika Reyes, popped up by Denden Den Lazaro. Maraginot, and she breaks down the wall. This is what the Lady Eagles need, a strong start here in the third. And what we're seeing is that you know, the rest of the squad contributing to the points. Aragalan from the opposite side. Aragalan so crafty with her attack. Morado. Bella de Leon. A lot of power on that hit. Great setup. For De Leon, excellent timing. Look at that back set. And this is the type of start that the Lady Eagles need to be able to extend this match. For the Lady Eagles, those fast plays seem to seem to be working against the Lady Spikers. Michelle Gumabo off of a combination play. She's got five points here in the match. Michelle seems to be having a, a great time. It's it's been a while since she's actually played with her fellow Lasallians. Actually, ang kahampi ni Michelle sa kanyang club team ay si Den Den Lazaro, mm -hmm. who just popped that ball right up. Maraginot could not hit it properly as we head to another Judge Candy courtside report. One more time from the Lady Spikers, Angelique Mando. Seeing that each of the Lady Spikers has had a taste of championship in their respective years, each is a leader of their own. Where the voice really resounding during the huddles of this match is the voice of Chang Abby Manolino. Well, for sure, the fans of the Lady Spikers really missed on chanting and cheering on Chang. But it made me wonder kung saan nga ba talaga galing yung moniker niya na Chang. Well, besides daw sa pagkakalapit ng tunog ng Chang Ami sa Chang Abby na tawag sa kanya ngayon, eh, it's more or mostly because she was the nanay figure sa kanyang batch. And even after four years of not seeing action in their collegiate right, Rivalry as she is showing how lethal she still is in the set that has been. And it's all rooting from her competitive spirit. Dahil Anton and Anne, kahit Jackstone, Holden, o 10-20 lang daw yan, as she will always be at beast mode, Anton and Anne. And some would argue that Abby is actually in better shape now than she was when she was playing for LaSalle. Of course, Abby, very dedicated uh, athlete. And uh, over the years, actually, since the time she, that she graduated, continuous yung kanyang uh, training. The familiar 
Fierce swag from Michelle Gumabo. And just like that, the match is tied at five apiece. And just like that, the Lady Spikers take the lead off that ace, courtesy of Michelle Gumabo. Let's get another Judge Candy courtside report. Let's go back to Roxanne Monteallegre from the Lady Eagle side. The Lady Eagles only had one day to train for this match. Kaya naman kita natin na such a challenge sila. And also, Denden Lazaro and Eliza Valdez are flying out to Asaka tomorrow at 2 p.m. for the national team training. Kaya advice ni Coach Tai, you have to stay focused for this match. At sabi rin niya, para makahabol ba tayo, we have to minimize our errors, we have to step up our game in blocking, find the proper timing, and also the right aggressiveness. And sabi nga rin niya, more than uh, the battle of rivals, to be able to bring out the heart strong attitude you have to think of this as the battle for school pride Anton thank you very much Roxanne and great point because Ateneo in this match has committed 17 on force errors really hurting their cause Marginot starting this rally Fajardo to a running Shang Abi Marano Marano of course Known for that play. We'll take a break. The Lady Spikers lead the Lady Eagles 8 to 6. You're looking at a jam packed Mall of Asia Arena here in Pasay City for the Battle of the Rivals, sponsored by Revisco. Thank you to everybody watching on SNA. I'm Don Ross together with Andre Pulia Kanda. We've got Roxanne Montenegre and Angelique Manto reporting for the Lady Eagles and the Lady Spikers, respectively. Valdez trying to Boy, get it back to the Sassal side. They're, they're having trouble receiving these sharp serves being sent their way by Steph Mercado and company. Lazaro, nice pass. To Marado, who gives it up to Valdez. They're going to need a lot more of that, that connection. Lazaro to Morado to Valdez. A Fuji bar attack of the set. Fajardo. Gala. Aragala. Tried to get it off the block there. The ball still inside as we see this fudgy bar block of the set. Bay Ateneon, the most fearsome blocker on the Ateneo side. That's exactly what the Lady Eagles need to do, Anton. We mentioned how blocking was actually missing in the first two sets. But, uh, you know, the Lady Spikers just really finding their way through. Look at Galang. Go for that off speed shot. Very simple with her attack, but very effective. Valdez. It's a free ball now for LaSalle. Kim Fajardo! What a recovery, though, by De Jesus. Fajardo. Back to Galang, who goes down the line. Maraginot was there. Valdez breaks down the wall. They need a point. You go to Valdez. And she's there to deliver. This should be a good rotation for the Lady Eagles. Three strong offensive players in front. What a save by Morado. Fajardo, back to Gala. Set was too close to the net. Gala wanted to punch it through. Ten all is our tally. Sharp serve from Morado. Free ball. Lazaro. Morado. Valdez. Fajardo giving it up to Gala and Ara Gala. Once again, the former MVP tallying her 11th point of the match. It's 
take a look at it one more time on our Enervon instant replay. Soaring and scoring for the Mini Spikers is Aragana. Here's Valdez. Gumabao, back to Gala. Valdez sends it back. Valdez, always a high percentage attacker here. Valdez has got 17 points to lead all scorers here in this match. Just a few more to make it one complete set on Don. <laughs> Well, make that 18 now, after that ace. Eliza Valdez, three-time UAP best server from season 76 to season 78. We're talking about 93 service aces in the elimination round in those three years that she won the best server award. Mika Reyes ties things up at 12. Morado, De Jesus, Lazaro, Morado. Here's Valdez from the back row. Great dig by Gala. Mercado popped up by Lazaro. Quick attack for BDL. Fajardo back set for Gumabao. And Michelle Gumabao ends the rally. Look at Fajardo really try to shuffle her play. Making sure all of her attackers get an attempt or get a set. Pinagtatrabaho talaga ni Antono, everyone in front. You can't stop Michelle Gumabao with just one blocker. And now the blocking of LaSalle in full effect. Lady Eagles call for time. Hey, if not be dead, why? Huh? Maybe, maybe, gula, gula. Isa Valdez, Chaga tayo sa depensa natin. Ateneo was actually once the best digging team in the UAB back in season 77. You know, but, but since then, their ranking in that department has gone down. And that's something that they have to rediscover here in this match. Aragala with a service ace. Three point lead for Nasal here in set number three. Well, let's see. It's just a three-point lead, Anton. We, we saw earlier also how Lasal managed to make a comeback. And I'm sure here in the third, lalaban itong uh, Lady Eagles. Gumabao. Fajardo tossing it up to MG. Sent back. De Leon saying it's her turn to get the block point. Leo De Leon. 5'11", 20 years old. And she had her her best year in terms of scoring. Last season, 79, averaging 9.8 points per match for Ateneo. Combination play, Gumabao. De Jesus was there. Gia tossing it up for Eliza. Gohing. Mercado on a running attack. Steph Mercado. Wow. Look at how happy the Lady Spikers are. Just really enjoying the game, Anton. Showing that they want to win more at this point. We'll be back with more from the Battle of the Rivals. We're back inside the Mall of Asia Arena in Pasay City for this one-day event featuring 
storied rivalry, the most fabled rivalry in Philippine sports. Rivalry between green and blue, the Lady Spikers and the Lady Eagles. Aragala with a marvelous match today, 12 points. Gio Morado not only setting up her teammates but scoring as well. She's got five points in the match. Morado tossing it up for Maraginot. Fajardo giving it up to Steph Mercado. Too much spice on that spike, but was a, a check touch. ball. Wow. LaSalle pulling away here, and looks like they might be ready to bring out the broom. Lazaro receives that one. De Jesus. That one goes long. And right now, the Lady Eagles need one good pass. Well, there was a touch, rather. What's good is that we're seeing Ahumiro Maraginot in, in, in front. And we saw how Ahumiro had very forceful attacks earlier. That's right. Amy Ahumiro was very active. But just three points to be exact. But she did have her moments. Fajardo to Mercado. Steph Mercado. Now 27 years old, but still a very effective volleyball player. And now the legendary set returns. Chi Saet. Now 32 years old, a mother of three, a three-time UAP champion with at least two best setter awards to her name. Morado, Valdez, Mercado, Sid Demisilio sending it back to the Ateneo side. Gohing, Saet, here's Gala, Lazaro calmly pops it up. Morado. Crossing it up to Joanna Maraginot, and Maraginot is able to get another point. Bill Kaylet Cayetano is back in for Ateneo. Now, for, for those who are not aware, Phil was once one of the top scorers in the UAAP. Mm -hmm. She scored 213 points, that was good for third in the league in terms of best scores back in season 74. She was the team captain of Ateneo during that year. She's one of the more consistent attackers that they had for the Lady Eagles during that time. And she was part, of course, of the fame, the fame Fab Five, along with the likes of Gretchen Ho, Jem Ferrer, a Nakachi and of course Z Hervasho. Looks can be very deceiving, Anton. Back in the day, I remember when she was still playing, very sweet looking. But then when you when she starts, um, you know, approaching, taking taking on the offense, magugulat ka. Now look at this. Eliza Valdez going down the line to tie things up. Chuck Cruz is now playing libero. And I remember an interview before, Chuck Cruz said her dream position is actually to play libero. And I think now. <laughs> so dreams. Finally. Dreams coming through here in the Battle of the Rivals. Chuck Cruz playing her dream position, which is the libero. We'd like to thank Rabisco for sponsoring this great event, the Battle of the Rivals. And of course, the president of the Larong Volleyball sa Pilipinas Incorporated, Mr. Joey Romasanta, the vice president also of the LVPI, Mr. Peter Kaiko, and the president, Mr. Tat Suzara. Thank you very much. Viva! 
part of the national team. And we've got some national team members here participating in this battle of the rivals. Gala. Hey, Ateneo might steal this one away to extend this match. The Ateneo fans have come alive here at the Mall of Asia Arena in Pasay City. And likewise, we're seeing a lot of smiles on the faces of the Lady Eagles at this point. Saet, Demesilio, Lazaro, Porado wins that joust against Chang Abi. Wow! Another G amazing play. We have to find a way to score a point. Look at this. It was actually going over the net. You can see how happy Den Den was giving G a hug. Because as a libero, like Den Den, her job is to give those nice passes as the Mamathli, Phil K. Glen Cayetano gets a service ace. Look at the serve, nice flow to her then suddenly dropped. The ballerina from Bacolod turned high flying. Lady Eagle, a spiker, doing damage here in set number three. And the Phenom adding to the points here for the blue side. Let's check it out one more time. Morado to Valdez. Putos para sa Ateneo. Fajardo to Mercado. And now the errors being committed by the Lady Spikers. The Lady Spikers got stuck at 18. And Phil overshoots that one. She had a good run. Yeah. In fact, through her serves, it's why they were able to reach 24. Well, since Phil's comeback, she... She has been playing the service specialist position now. Mercado sends that one away and the Lady Eagles stay alive. They extend the battle of the rivals by snatching set number three. Keep it right here on SNA for more action between the Lady Eagles and the Lady Spikers here in the battle of the rivals.